Looking for Ewan Barclay. This is Brian Tobin, the swim coach at SUNY Cortland. June of 2015. This will be the freestyle. One of two strokes. And here it goes. Good start, but the head position comes up. Remember, you want to maintain that streamline as long as, as long as possible, picking the head up a little bit early. So you want to maintain that streamline as long as possible. And then when you do pull, you should be able to go right into your breakout. Good head position coming back. Oop. Try to get you in the middle of the camera. Sorry about that. Good turn. Nice streamline. And we got to work on that transition coming off the wall. Your braking position a little bit before you start kicking and pulling. So when you push off the wall, maintain a good tight streamline. Get your kick going. And then use your arms to help you break through the surface of the water. And it should be a smooth transition. But I really like your body position on your freestyle. You're very consistent, getting rotation from one side to the next. Right there, we're seeing that head position up. We want to get that head down, coming off the wall. Uh, watching your head on, pulling a little bit crossover there, there, there. Left hand should stay on the left side, right hand on the right side. And right now you're crossing over a fair amount, so you want to pull left on the left side, right on the right side. And as we watch the kick, short, fast feet. But you have a good natural feel for the water. I think you do a very nice job of pulling efficiently. Uh, you can get a little bit more efficient. But for somebody at the age of 8 to 12, that's pretty darn good. Now, I want to maintain your speed off your start and off your turns. So holding the streamline all the way up to the breakout is crucial. Let's see how you do on your second stroke. Good pull and kick and see you're a little bit deep and then a slight hesitation before getting into the stroke. So if we can, a little smoother transition would result from being a little cleaner on the recovery coming up. Try to get to the surface earlier. And then when it's time to break out, fast hands for that first stroke cycle. Don't just kind of come up, make it a breakout, get through the surface. Nice long reach, good smooth strokes. Excellent two hand touch coming off the turn. Body position, your head position's up. I see you looking straight ahead every time. And what happens then is the hips, the body position will be a diagonal, the hips deeper than the shoulders, which is less efficient. You're better off if you can make yourself horizontal. And a good way to help you do that is after you breathe, look at the bottom of the pool. Take a deep breath and look at the bottom of the pool and press the T, press the shoulders down. And when you press the shoulders down, Then the hips come up a little bit. Remember teeter-totter. Your lungs and your hips, you're trying to balance the two. Press the lungs down, it helps bring the hips up. You're excited, I can see. Big old smile, I like it. Through the turn, and now we'll see the kick, which is very important for the breaststroke. That's a good kick, nice and legal. Toes pointing out, squeeze around and together. The kick is not done until the feet squeeze together. Great job, Ewan. Looking very good.